Thank you, Pastel. Have a good day at work. <laughs> Thank you for contributing, Perquid. We're getting pretty close now, actually, aren't we? Very close indeed. Without further ado, let's go ahead and switch to... Main screen turn on. Hey, everyone. Welcome to it is Wednesday, my dudes and dudettes and dude and dude dude binaries, non dudettes, do non duders, uh, something like that. And you know what that means? That means it's time for more, more outward. When we last uh, left off on outward, uh, we conquered quite a few extra dungeons. Actually, I'm going to uh, check to see if my voice here is going over the. It looks like it's not going over to him. Okay. So, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, should I lower my voice a little bit? Uh, let's leave it, like, here, and I'll just check the VOD later. Hey, hey, Kaporkwood. So, we are, last, on our last episode, we conquered the Voltaic Dungeon, which was quite long. It took me a long time to get through that. That was probably the longest dungeon I've played so far in this game. Went through some miscellany as well, and made it back home with all the loot, including some new, unique items. Which I'm not going to use just yet, because they're magic-based only. Now that we're here, we don't have many dungeons left in, in uh, Church and East. We only have a couple new places left. Today, I decided we're going to go ahead and conquer that ghostly fort at the top north of the map. Um, that leads to the Wind Temple and another ancient ruin that we're going to get to visit, and hopefully a way to get home without getting ass blasted. Because if there's a lot of crap to bring home, you know, we might have to make several trips again. Not that I mind making several trips in this game, of course, but it is time consuming. And I do always want to be a thoughtful of your time. Let me just go ahead and set a Twitter notification here that we have gone live and we'll get going. Let's get started, chat. Let's get going. All right, then. What time is it? It's two in the morning. Early to bed, early to rise. As they say. Hmm. Is the sound too low on the... Hmm. Ah, there we go. There he goes now. Also, just to let y'all know, we got some new redeems that I put in. Feel free to check that out. 
What are we wearing today? Looks like my prayer claimer could use some repair big time. It's not snowing anymore, so I can comfortably run around in my blue sand helm or blue sand armor just fine with any with any luck. Carry those with me instead. Gonna bring an explorer lantern for this one. It's gonna be hard. This will be very difficult. Let's go ahead and wear all this stuff, shall we? Since it's so early in the morning, we're gonna go to bed with our armor and spend that time just doing some repairs. You always want I always like keeping a bow and arrow with me. Just habit, I guess, at this point. So glad it's no longer called cold. Don't need any potion. Hmm. I got five of these great life potions now. Don't really need them though. We'll be needing this. My water jugs and this needs to be cleaned. Let me head down to the uh, kitchen really quick. Boil some water. There we go. Five clean water has been added. I'm not going to eat any food just yet since we're going to take some time repairing stuff. But I have learned my lesson from last time. We will be bringing with us some rags. This only cures the common cold. But, I don't know why I did that just now. Uh, I apparently am in the mood for wasting equipment. <laughs> Restores burnt stamina. Do I have the proper things I could probably actually you know what I could probably make some health potions right now couldn't I I would just need to set up an alchemy kit somewhere I need to check what is required to build to make health potions because it's been a while oh that's a glorious sunrise though check that shit out chat is that beautiful what's the um that's all C What's the shift tab? Nope. Oh, it's starting to rain. Alt C is which one needs a screenshot? Hmm. So. Okay, I just remembered apparently how to take screenshots. But let's go ahead and chop or get some firewood here. Gonna make myself a campfire really quick. I don't have flint and steel, which I need to remember to bring with me also. So I always forget that for some reason. Bring all my fabled traps with me as well. I got so much supply here. It's not even funny. 500 gold left. Bunch of cooked meats. Where's my flint and steel? I mean, I didn't lose any, right? It should be here. There it is. Move to pocket. Just one. Alright. Let's go ahead and set up a nice little campfire here really quick.
Go ahead and deploy this. Now, what do I need to do to make life potions? Oh! Huh. I have plenty of ingredients to make life potions. I didn't realize it was that easy. So, go ahead and bring all of the grave beetles with us. Well, five of them anyway. Five of these. We're going to be making nothing but potions really quick. That wasn't so bad, was it? We could actually craft quite a number of things. We could even craft spiritual varnish, which requires mana stone, godberry wine. I wonder how you make godberry wine, though. I'll need to find the ingre to find the uh, recipe for that. And meanwhile, though, we've got plenty of health potions with us. This will come very much in handy. So I've chosen my equipment. I want to use the bow. I want to choose the uh, claymore. Let's go ahead and make some food too while we're at it. So let's go ahead. Where's my salt? Got plenty of salt as well. Okay. Miners three, six miners omelets have been made. Should be perfect for breakfast. Let's go ahead and repair our equipment first. Don't need to spend that many hours. Around three hours should do. <laughs> Let's see the uh, status of our equipment now. Wow, see? Three hours is more than enough. It is now nine in the morning. We should get going, chat. Need to stop by to get some water. I have some delicious food here, which I'm going to go ahead and eat. Which gives me the following benefits. 600 seconds, 900 seconds for that. Got some potions here. I don't need the mushrooms can go back. Uh, let's see, I got a trap here. I really should be making more traps. I'm going to... I know I'll be needing them. Where I'm going. I need a bunch of wood. A bunch of these. And I'm mixing. Okay. So, bring all of my woods. Bring all of my cloths. And bring all of my steels. That would be an interesting spear. Or an ammo life helm. That would be nice. But I would need to have a padded helmet first to even think about building that. Much less these. Very annoying. Very annoying. Oh, that almost reminds me. I will definitely be needing... I will be definitely needing... Bandages as well. Do I still have bandages? I should. Where are they? Don't mind me, I'm just biting my fingers. Seal Club, thank you for contributing to the Sheer Heart Attack Challenge. That should be just about done now, right? More or less? Or soon to be done? I can hardly wait. Ten K more? Oh man. Exciting. Exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and 
Should I bring the luxury tent or the fur tent this time? I'm gonna bring the uh, luxury tent this time. You know, it's weird. I don't see any bandages here in my inventory. I could have sworn I had a bunch still. Maybe I'm just dumb and I don't see them anywhere. But you know, you would think they would be with the restoratives, right? With the foods. Even though they're not edible. You would think they would be up here. That's kind of problematic, yo. Good thing we got so much cloth. So let's go ahead and make some of these really quick. How many bandages we got now? 13? That'll do. That'll do, that'll do. That'll do us. We're at 28.5 out of 100. 13 traps. And I'm tempted to use up my steel bits to make iron traps, but we got a bunch of here. I kind of want to save the rest just in case they become needed at some point. You never know when you might need some steel, you know? Alright. I think we're good. We are good, chat. Do I need to bring any more food? I think this should do us. So, we got flint and tinder. Can strip wood from anywhere. Got a bunch of things here for my weapons. I think at this point, we are pretty much set. I'm gonna strip some more wood though. To make wooden spikes. more than enough, honestly. 70 pounds. Gonna be leaving less than that once we fill up in water here. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and head on to the Wild Blue Yonder. It is 11 in the morning. We want to get out there while the going is good. Is there something you need? It's checking here to see if anything new has come in from abroad. They are not. They have not. What can I do for you? All right. All right. Greetings, friend. Okay. With that chat, it seems like we are now ready for our ready to go on our next adventure. Hopefully, we're a little bit better prepared this time than last time, right? Assuming we don't take too many detours. It's not even snowing this time, so we don't need to worry about freezing to death this time. With any luck. With any luck. Luck's so important to this game sometimes. Maybe a little too important. Shit, look how beautiful it is out here. 
Look how beautiful I am out here. <laughs> Alright, so we are here. We want to get to this area. I don't think I can get there from the bandit camp area. Pretty sure this is all blocked off by mountains or something. Which is why it's imperative that we're going to go through the fort. Once we clean that out, and once we clean these out, I'm going to go ahead and... Exp this is pretty much the only area we have left, this uh, ancient ruins. Because the Vigil Pylon was a bust. There wasn't much to look there, look for there in the Vigil Pylon. The fort, last time I was there, had what appeared to be ghostly uh, people. It's quite difficult to fight them at a the time, but hopefully it will not be any longer. Oh, almost forgot. I should really set my skills. There we go. Should be decent, right? Most of my main skills right there. Hey Luke, just started. Hey Karma. Long time no t long time no see. Yes, sexy as fuck, right? Uh reject armored armored booba. Embrace fully clothed or uh, Fully clothed plate mail armor. It's doing good. Today, I was just telling Chad that in today's mission, we're going to be going to this uh, fort here that's covered in unfriendly ghosts. If you're supposed to get through several areas there to reach this ancient ruin here and this Cabal of the Wind Tower. Since it's no longer cold in game, I figure we can get there without freezing to death this time. But who knows? What insanity will await us once we get there? <sighs> no camera moving? No shit? So I was wondering why you said no camera moving. Fine. What time is it right now? 5.23? So I uh, cannot move the camera until 5.28. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's been a while since anyone's used that. I actually have a few, a couple other new redeems there if you uh, check out the channel points area. Unfortunately, I also don't have access. Well, I do have an access to a clock. I have my phone here. Feels like I'm playing an isometric game from this angle. That ought to be interesting. I'm kind of surprised I've not run into any enemies so far. Of course, now that I've jinxed it, who knows what will happen next, right? Also, having to navigate this game without seeing in front of me, just going by details like the purple grass. And I'm still facing eastward, so that kind of helps a little bit, right? The enemies have yet to respawn in this map, too. Oddly enough.
What a mu hot, musty day it's been. I can't believe we're already halfway through May. Where did the time go, you know? Is that another dungeon? My curiosity will get the better of me yet. I still have three minutes until I could even move the camera again. So this is going to be interesting. What is up here, I wonder? Is this another dungeon? Have I been here before? Evidently not, so I definitely don't remember this. If I did, maybe it wasn't that important and I just sort of forgot. Enter Immaculate's Cave. Okay, I remember this place now. Nothing of uh, interest there except um, one of them evil automaton types who's actually quite not evil. He even shares his equipment with you. And he's reading a book. They're quite sentient. Very sentient, in fact. I'm still disappointed that the uh, very vigil tower didn't have much going for it. I noticed that there's no actual lore in this game that you can read. Things are just sort of there. People are like placed doodads everywhere, and they're basically just like, oh, hey, so st this is something that has occurred. Also, I think we're going the correct direction because these are the. This is the miniature lake with two rocks in it, and there should be a fortress to the top left of this. In fact, I think it's right there. Still got two minutes before I can move my camera again. Really hope I don't run into a Wendigo in this state. Because that's going to be almost impossible to fight. I'll, just, I'll have no other choice but to run away. Which I'm assuming is kind of what you guys are trying to do to me, right? I see you. I see your plan. Well, in spite of your best efforts, I still made it to... The location I was planning to go to, right? Ha! Thick oil. Thick oil. Got about one minute more before I can properly use my camera again. Ghost plants have rejuvenated enough for me to pick them. Cool. Oh shit, you know what I forgot to do before heading? Oh, heading away from town, drink some water, and refill my water jug. Thankfully, there's a lake nearby, and I can just harvest some wood, set up a campfire. No, fuck! Oh god, I can't do that either. I forgot to bring camping stove with me, shit. Well, at least I can just boil water, right? I can at least do that, right? Okay, I can move around again. It's been five minutes. This has already become a disaster. I can't believe- I always forget sh to bring shit with me. This is like real life. This is like... This is like... Trying to uh, prepare for a trip in the real world. I always forget- end up forgetting something. Seems like a good place, any, and I didn't bring mining pickaxe either, so I can't even mine a salt mine here. Hell yeah! Clean water added. What now, bitches?
You over prepare everything? I used to over prepare everything at one point as well. Alright. Now then, this is the fort that we're going to conquer today, lolies. Not sure how long it's going to take. I did clear out the first section a while back. It should be an interesting time. First, let's clean out this place of uh, secrets and tre treasure. Because every time I come back here, I always find a new thing that I didn't, that I missed the first time. For example, there's totally a treasure chest up there, you know. But how do we get to it? That is a good question, one I do not yet know how to answer. The answer is apparently, walk up a flight of stairs. Who'd have thought, right? Oh my. Thank you for the throw, Redeem Frankenstein. How are you doing? You're here to kick ass and chew bubblegum and you're all out of bubblegum? <laughs> you sure you're not all out of ass instead? I remember when I first played this game, I thought the ghost plants were alive, and that they were enemies. Let's see, I believe there are some pearl eggs up here too, right? Hmm. Bingo. Alright. Let us make us one more campfire. We're gonna cook up some eggs. We're gonna consume said eggs. Getting our Corvus Ranchos in order. And then we will take the fight to the ghosties within. All right, let's fight some ghosts. Who are you gonna call? Someone else, apparently. Ghost pass. Ghost ass. Yeah, I know it kind of seems kind of weird turning it, turning it off right after I grabbed it, but we will be needing it. Spiritual varnish for doing extra damage to ghosties. Alright, so. We'll need to figure out where the switch is to open that. It's somewhere around here. Somewhere nearby. Probably downstairs, actually. Ah. Thank you for the hydrate, Redeem. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, Frankenstein. I gotta prepare. We're about to get spooked. 
I am a dumbass who does not know how to equip arrows before fighting, and the ghost is also dumb enough to have not seen me yet. Ha oh. ha. Hey, hey. Eat arrow, bat. Eat arrow, dummy. How about them apples, huh? Ow. Wow. Uh, he already cut out a quarter of my health. How about them? How about that? That's kind of fucked up, actually. One second. Ow! Oh no, he has the high ground. What should I do? It went substantially better than the last time I fought these things, but god, it still hurt like a brick. And imagine, I had to fight a bunch of these things, right? The purple ones are harder than most, though. So, maybe I'll be okay? I should probably also make use of my elemental rags. Should make the battle a little bit easier. Just a bit. The last time I was here, I think I picked up a ghost key, actually. Since I'm dumb, I forgot to bring the ghost key with me, so I guess we'll either have to make sure- Either have to hope that another one has spawned down here, or I'll have to head all the way back to Chur to uh, Churzo, just to get another one. And that's going to take up some time I did not plan. <laughs> I've also forgotten if there's another- Yes, there is. He's much farther away, though. Maybe I could put some arrows in him before he gets to us. At any rate, I need to heal up, so... They have a pretty set pattern, so it's possible to just sneak around them. If you're careful. But since when have we ever played carefully, chat? Times like these that I wonder if I should stuck to a sword and shield combo instead of using a long sword, but eh. Let's go ahead and here we go. Yeah, okay. Put that there. I wonder if he sees me. Well, if he didn't before, he does now. Ow! The audio targeting in this game really fucks me over sometimes. Jesus Christ. Ow. And also, I don't know why it didn't let me use the counter just now, but that also fucks you, has a tendency to fuck you over if you're not careful. The cooldowns are really long. I 
I don't know what that was. I also forgot to use one of my elemental uh, rags, which would probably have made this fight a little bit easier. And they're probably in the bag, so I can't just pick them up right now. Well, I actually could, because these ghosts are rather slow, all things considered. See what I mean? They also don't heal very fast, so we should be able to run all the way back up for a little bit. You can actually look behind you and see the slowly, slowly uh, gaining purple light, which indicates the ghost who's about to fuck my shit up. Alright. Uh, very quickly, heal. Hmm. Let's try using fire, shall we? Also, not healing quite very quickly for my taste. Oh, that's why it's not working. You cannot use the counter button when you're in a blocking state. I'm dumb. Well, he's dead. It actually went by a lot quicker when I used the fire, when I imbued my weapon with fire magic. Hey, Vimboy, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how do I, how do I typing into stuff? Nightbot, are you dead? There we go. It just took a while. I have deprived chat of seeing me fail once again. I should have probably brought more bandages though. Or maybe I should just suck less so I don't need to use as many bandages. Have I ever said how I love how lighting your sword on fire makes it? I said you can actually light up the area where you are. <laughs> yeah, Nightbot's really slow, isn't it? We're exploring a ghostly dungeon today in the hopes of like getting through it and getting to the other side. I'm not doing so well, even though I've been playing this game. It's been hours and hours and hours since I was last, since I was last in this area. Let's drink some water, chat. I'm gonna go pick some star mushrooms while we're at it. These look like cozy accommodations, don't they? And uh, do some shrooms as well. Oh. How to cook pungent paste. Cool. Why did I just waste a health potion? I'm fucking dumb. I forgot I had health potions anyway, to begin with. I already know how to do this, so I'll just have to sell that scroll to for a couple silvers at a town sheet. Hmm. You're not lazy, application bot? I'm sure you are not. Let me give you a head pat. <laughs> Don't worry, I too am lazy. Very much so. Hmm. Well, chat, this looks like the exit to the dungeon right here. Oh, who goes there? Oh, thanks for the follow application bot. <laughs> hey Tron, how are you today? Why do R&B women never feature on other R&B women's songs? I don't know why. Please enlighten us with the answer or forever hold your peace. That was a joke, it was a question. 
Uh, if you say so. Oh, shit. Um, we are not going there just yet. But unless we... Well, what well, what we do can do is turn off our fucking lamp so we don't get owned by that uh, scary boy right there. Do you think he can see us, chat? Is his perception check good enough to see us through the cage? We must wait for him to go to the other side, and then we're just going to hit him repeatedly with sniper shots. I really wish he could imbue sniper shots or something. For fuck's sake, that's the wrong button. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. He's casting magic. He is running after us. We are screwed. We are screwed. I cannot fucking see. I hate this. Must run. Hey, Askaroth. How are you today? I am running for my life. But what else is new? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He can dodge roll. He can dodge roll. He is not hap- He dodge roll two of them. Hacks. Hacks. Literally hacks. Look at this bullshit. Fucking cheating scumbat. Oh my god. Hey, hey. I have a question for you. Dodge this motherfucker. Ah, he didn't dodge that, but he is angry. He is angry. He is coming for us. He is floating in the air. He has turned on no clip. He has turned on no clip. I do not have a chance. I need to- What the fuck? Is that- I'm also out of stamina. I also can't see. I, I cannot see. I need, cannot see. Light. Woo! Ow. Ow, 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 ow. What did he curse me with? What did he curse me with? Uh, I am not committing a home invasion. I am... This is, this is eminent domain. I represent the government. Taxes are due. They've been due for over 300 years. These squatters have been sitting in this property for as long as I've been alive. I am due fair taxes representative to the government. I need to eat foods. He does not appear to be chasing us. Uh, whatever day I'm having, it can't be worse than what's happening to you right now. <laughs> Shit. What did he do to me anyway? Oh, that's just... I'm haunted, chap. Invoking the castle doctor on my ass. I'm about to evoke a swatting on his ass. Let's see now. Uh... I think this is definitely an example of an enemy that I need to use the spiritual varnish on, actually. But before I do so, we must we must uh, encourage healing. I'm about to eat this ghostly motherfucker. That's what's got what's up right now. Oh. I am- I've left the varnish in the bag, shit. Uh, he is too dumb to realize that I am behind these, uh, this, uh, garbage. That's fine with me, you know. That did not do anything to him. The last time I hid behind garbage, the enemy just literally hit me through the garbage. So I'm not certain that this is going to sup. Okay. All right, so we need to get him stuck there. Okay. You 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 keep doing that, buddy. Use. Awesome. All right, it's on now, boy. It's on now. That did not do anything. That's it. What the fuck was that? Whoa. Who just threw something on my head? A pie? 
Now is not the time for our apple pies. Now is the time to force this ghost to respect my authority. I am dead. Fuck. Am I being reloaded back into the ghost pass? It's always when they're like at the last health that this happens. Defenseless, you cannot stop the approach of the ghostly figure that bears down on you. It speaks to you in a language you cannot recognize, but the intention is clear. Do not resist. It grabs your arm and drags you through the ghost pass, sword ready if you try to escape. Your journey ends at a broken old cell whose door has long since fallen away. The ghost drops your arm and turns away, motioning to slam the long dawn door into place and twisting a key into the air before marching away. The sign on the cell is in the old language, but it's easy enough to guess that it reads marked for execution. You thank your lucky stars that the ghost was trapped in its old memories, unable to reason and think. Well, shit. Where am I? What am I? Who am I? Oh, I'm all the way down here again. That's actually fairly convenient. I wonder if the ghost spawned back upstairs. Wait. My bag should be nearby too, right? I wonder if it's upstairs or if it's down here. Haha, <laughs> yes, the, the ghost gave me a ghost pass. Yes, yes he has. Uh, but the problem is, where did he... Where's my bag? It should be down here, right? It should have spawned right next to me, so it should be around here somewhere. Unless it's all the way upstairs still, because we're still in the dungeon. Hell, that's probably where it is. I wonder if I head back upstairs quickly enough if he will still be at like one health so I can kill him a lot quicker. That'd be awfully convenient, right? Well, he's no longer here, for sure. But I still have my pack. Romance the ghost. We will attempt to romance the ghost. We shall make an attempt. I shall stab him with my sword of love. Take flint and steel. Don't need that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a ghost dating VN somewhere out there. Wait, there is a ghost dating VN. It's called Kindred Spirits. Only lesbian ghosts, though. Did he go back all the way down here? Ah, there he is, and he's still at low health. Cool, cool, cool. Eat stunlock, bitch! Ha! Ah, uh, uh, that was fun. I even got a ruby for my for my trouble and ice varnish. All right, where was I? Eat food. Bandage clothes. You cannot do this now. Drink some water. Now then, let's continue our journey into the darkest dungeon I've ever seen in the game. Outside of Stalker. Well, this is definitely an execution room, that's for damn sure. Here's a, gu a good old guillotine over here. Oh fuck, you guys have better to charge your phones. I'll be here for the next three hours. Take the spiritual varnish. Isn't it fun and weird how there's so many spiritual varnishes down here? Ah, oh, this is definitely a torture room of some kind, chat. Guantanamo Bay sure has changed. Alright. We've unlocked the, uh, ho hopefully what's the uh, entrance to the gate upstairs. 
And I guess this leads here too. Hmm. Mushrooms, mushroom, mushroom, mushrooms. You wish you had a PC? Aw. Ooh, a glowing gemstone. Fuck me! Why did I choose not to bring a pickaxe? Oh well. Oh my god! Why are there so many of them? What the fuck? This is unfair. So unfair. Are they still following me? They are still coming for me, chat. They are still on my ass. Indeed. The masculine urge to get... Frankenstein... A... PC. Um, why did I drop that? I That doesn't have the... Okay. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Where did they go? Where did they run off to? They are stuck there. For some reason. Wow, with a spiritual varnish, they're actually not that easy, that hard to kill. I guess that's how you're supposed to beat the uh, ghost in this pass. You just keep abusing spiritual varnish until everyone's dead or something. Seems kind of sus, but what do I know? I'm also running low in stamina. I guess dying repeatedly is slowly taking its toll on my fragile ego. Hmm, go why are the ghosts in the haunted horde? I have no idea. Why don't you enlighten us? What do you know that I don't? I don't know how to properly... Fucking shit. Ow! Stop stabbing me. Not consensual stabbing. Thank you. Okay. I do need to save one of these spiritual varnishes to fight the red boy upstairs. So I need to... Pro I should probably stop using these so much. Dang, ghost places tend to be in. That is very true. You know, I just realized I'm friends with a lot of ghostly VTubers. Do you think that they would be offended to know that I've been murdering their murdering like their family members? I mean, it's self it's clearly self-defense, right? Clearly. <laughs> oh man. Crystal Chronicles is looking legit. For fuck's sake, why did I not bring a pickaxe? Uh, uh What in the world is that? What vile creature is this? I will not fight that in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It looks spooky. I will... I do not approve of these tentacles. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. No ammunition equipped. Lies. Where is more of my arrows? Am I seriously out of ammo? No. Oh, there's a lot of you assholes, aren't there? Shit. Yeah, that's right. Back away. Back away. Get. It's a good thing they're what? Their attacks are so short ranged, but it doesn't look like I'm doing much damage to them. Hint where uh isn't killing ghosts just putting them to sleep violently? That is a very that's
very true. Uh, this and other lies that you tell your children to make putting down your family dogs a lot less toler a lot more tolerable. Um, don't worry, they're prepared for a special group session. I did not sign up for group this group session. My insurance does not cover this, I'm fairly sure. Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way, chat. Because apparently they heal. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and use firepower. There's only one thing to- one way to deal with tentacle monsters, and that is to make them yiff in hell! I'm already regretting this! Good thing I have health potions. Which I just crafted right bef- I'm dumb. It's R. It's R, not 5. There we go. Okay. Shit, really? You cheating motherfuckers. Ah, uh, I'm dead again. It's hard to make putting a dog down tolerable when you're a redneck and you do it yourself. I mean, people put their dogs down even if they're not rednecks or they bury them. So, for some reason, I've been dragged back down to a cell by a ghost, even though I'm fairly sure I killed all the ghosts in this area. Maybe we should go to sleep instead, because at this point, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm out of a lot. I'm kind of half a tap of stamina. I cannot adequately fight enemies if I don't have access to a large pool of it. So, let's go ahead... Set up a nice tent here, somewhere. Sleep for a few hours, maybe. What is my favorite word? I have no idea. That's I've never been asked that question before. I guess I like Kerp and Derp. Ever so I just say it sort of as a catchphrase. I just do it out of sheer um, habit, I guess, at this point. Alright then. It's once again time to mix drinks and to change lives. And I'm all out of drinks. Ow! Thank you for throwing shit in my face again. I always appreciate that. It keeps me awake, and it reminds me of my indentured servitude to Twitch.com. Those things were such a pain in the ass to deal with, and having to fight two of them? Broken? Oh my god! You're still alive, but soon you will not be! Ah, bastard. Illumination horror? Illuminates this non-existent cock and balls. How about them apples? Ow. Jesus. Totally worth it, though. I'm running out of these things a lot quicker than I thought I would. Throwing shit at people is fun. Indeed. Hey, the big boy tells you are moving up in the world. Indeed. Indeed. Alright. Uh, I've dealt with those boys. I forgot where I... What direction I was going. I was going... I was exploring deeper into this dark dungeon, right? Let's continue our journey. At least there are only two. That's very true. We gotta always got to look on the bright side of life. Oh, another ghosty boy. What in the world is this? Gee, this is totally not a puzzle at all. Huh? It's a elevator?
Wow. Um, let's uh, explore the rest of the stone first before we head over there. How's that sound? Is there only one spooky boy in here? I'm not going to get Asram to buy another one from nowhere? Cool. In that case, let's go ahead and torch the shit out of this guy. Fairly confident I could take out at least one of them. Don't have access to the spirit. I'm not going to use my spiritual varnish right now. Alright, so a little bit more and I should be able to defeat this guy, right? Yep. That wasn't so bad. I did a little bit better that time. Woo! What's in this pile of junk here? Hmm. This is well and truly a pile of junk. That's all I gotta say about that. Hey, blood mushrooms. Use those. Looks like they're growing in someone's grave, though. What else we got around here? Indeed, I have stud. While y'all were having, yeah, indeed, while y'all were having premarital sex, I was studying the blade. And now that the demons are at our doorsteps, you come to me for help? I think not. Okay, the game, you gotta really stop doing that. Okay. Let's go inside the spooky elevator to happy, happy fun times. Sex is a one- Sex is- Sex is a place, and I ought- And I am here to deliver the sex. Um, after- After I, uh- after I meme this guy into the ground, but first, I should probably escape. Oh no fucking way! Fuck you, game. You did not just glitch. You did not just do that. Really? Does this game hate me? Don't answer that question. Well, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that he's glitched there. Ha ha! Ah. That was the thing that happened, and that was the thing that I survived. Yay me! Yay me. Ah, spooky boys rise up, am I right? Is this the exit? Wait. Then, what the fuck was... Where did... Oh... I understand now. Okay. Alright. Let's blow this scene and get out of here. How's that sound? Use the spiritual varnish. Where is this bastard? Come on, baby. Wait, he vanished. He was just right here. Huh? I was ready and wearing to fight this guy, too. Hell yeah, boy!
dodge you blo dodging motherfucker. Ow. Ow. And I just remembered I can dodge roll. That is a thing that is possible to do in this game. As well as pick up the bags, but um, the game did not register my inputs just then. For fuck's sake! <laughs> At least the game keeps respawning me inside the ghost pass, so I don't need to run all the way back here from home or anything. I'm really starting to miss my sword and shield, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but oh well. Especially since I no longer have the spiritual varnish at this point. <laughs> Wait, this is the wrong direction. I have to go all the way back up there. I can't see shit, Captain. Please tell me my bag is still there. It is still there. I see the torch. Unfortunately, this bastard's also there. So the only way I could see getting through this is to run over there, grab the bag, and run the fuck away. That works. That works. That works. That works. That totally works. And he's healed up. Thank you. That's fucking shit. Uh, fuck you, god damn, this is starting, this is actually getting, starting to get kind of angry. <laughs> or I'm starting to get kind of, well, not really angry, just frustrated. Alright. Also, heavy attack combos in the greatsword are such ass to run. It's like... Where is my backpack, anyway? Alright. Wait, no fucking way. Did he home? He did just home on me, didn't he? Oh my god. What? Oh no! <laughs> he really just went there. You know what? Seth is the one that said, Oh, don't bother trying to learn the combat in this game. Just get the longest weapon you can find and spam attack so you can keep people stun countered. But it doesn't work. It's easier to just use a sword and shield and to hide behind your shield and just stab them, poke them from behind the shield instead of using a fucking halberd or a fucking two-handed sword because then this shit happens and am I spawning back outside in church in these? Oh my fucking god. Uh... Thank you, Gep. Where are we? Are those bandits? Yes, they are. After- look, bandits, I have had a bad- a really nasty day today. 
I'm gonna take it out on you. This doggo is not a good boy. Why are you armored? You should have no problem fighting these hyenas. But I'm in a very weakened state right now. I'm in a very vulnerable position. Which is why I'm going to do this. You did not just give me a... a Infection, you asshole. One second. One moment. Oh my god. Jesus, that was annoying. Give me your bodies. How far away are we from the ghost, the ghost, uh, ghost, uh, ghost, the ghosty place? Because we are close to getting through a dungeon. I could feel, I could have, I could feel it. And now I really want to go back there and finish the fight. So to speak. But we need supplies. We need to heal. And I am out of bandages. Well, not yet I'm not. But I will be fairly soon. So this game is basically like a ripoff of Kimba the White Lion. Tron, what anime is not a ripoff of Kimba the White Lion? Honestly. I'm not on Conflicts Mountain, it's... am I? Holy shit, I am. How did I get up here from down there? Yeah, this game is trolling me. Gee, let's spawn you all the way to the top of Conflux Mountain. <laughs> How do... and it's gonna be... wait, so there's the, uh, Vigil Tower. Which means I'm probably over here somewhere. And I need to get back over here. So I can get through the fort. Well, we're not going to get any of that done today or tonight. So let's go to bed. Tomorrow is a brand new day. I didn't bring any anti-disease, did I? Sigh. Oh, 47% chance to get ambushed. Pretty much. Looks like we're on the dice roll, though. Man, fuck the disease. We're going straight back to that. Man, we're going straight back to that dungeon. We are finishing that dungeon. We are finishing the fight, chat. Really wish I brought some anti-infection, though. Well, what can you do? I also got some decent ju or decent loot so far. 
all things considered, so I can't be that angry. Look, there's the fortress over there in the distance. <laughs> Eat the last of my miner's omelet. It is a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning indeed. I still can't get over how this game is pretty much what I wanted to tr play in Skyrim with a lot of mods. Decent combat, it's actually difficult. Nighttime that's actually dark and hard to see. All the immersive stuff. And not even not even a tenth of the bugs. Yeah, bring some fucking campfires with me this time. Hmm, this is already respawned? That's interesting. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. I should probably get some water, too. At least I know where to go now, too. So, I won't get that easily lost anymore. All things considered. I drank all my water already, right? No? Also, I'm being dumb. I know there's there are ways to play this game in such a way that you don't suck as much, and I have not been doing so this whole time. For example, keeping some of these uh, spellcraft things in your pocket. Keeping your potions in your pocket so you can use them. Stuff like that. So that I can drop my bag and continue to fight without having to worry about shit like that. There we go. Should do marginally better. Without the spiritual varnish, I'll have to rely on magic rags instead. Stay hydrate, become plant. Damn right. As someone who is a horticulturist in, in the meat space world, I can confirm I am part plant by this point. Drank some water. Sure, I could drink some water right now. It's good for my cooling systems, you know? Here. The meat slave that I'm possessing right now has liquid cooling on the CPU. Alright, alright. So... 
as I recall. Um, no. Okay. We just need to run all the way down here. Oh no! Vimboy, you've become a plant! Who has done this to you? I wonder if the red ghost is still down here because of the uh, elevator. He is still down here, see? I can see his glow. All right, let's prepare. We will kick his ass this time. Am I right, Marines? Use the power of lightning. I'm gonna swallow my pride. Because this is such a pain in the ass boss to fight. And I know I have to fight a few more, a couple more of the. Oh! He has not detected my presence yet. Asses are made to be kicked, among other things that I cannot see in stream. <laughs> Victory by any means necessary. That is very true, among other things. All right then. I don't know, chat. Do you think this is enough to uh, enough uh, traps? I'm coming for his ghost ghost dusty. Yeah, that's right. Come at me, bitch. Oh fuck! How do you skip most of them? My plan has failed. He literally flew over most of them. Shit. Okay. He has uh, managed to hit a bunch of them at least, okay. Um, um, oh, snap. Dodge this, you asshole. Where are you going to fly around now, huh? The power of Christ compels you to fuck off. And I think we won. I'm so sorry that you guys had to watch me lose as many times as I did, but we got him in the end, right? Vemboy is showing us the many uses for ass. Get that ectoplasm, because he is indeed a ghost, yes. Yes, he was. He is also indeed dead now. Or, dead, un, dead, um, dead, uh, dead, dead, um, un, uh, Anyway, he's gone. Let's continue the rest of this dungeon, please. Ah, uh, I love this game. I really do love this game. It's as frustrated as I get with this game. I cannot help but enjoy it. Honestly, I don't think as far as glitches and bugs are concerned, it has that many problems. I'm sure it's been, I'm sure there's like been a lot of uh, updates to it since Seth reviewed it. So it's probably way better now than it was when he played, but still.
Now we just need the Legend of Zelda music where you open a chest. Let's see, I got uh, I got two brutal dildos here and um elemental immunity poison, two warm potions, a huge bass thing of Hecmanite. Well, I do believe that was a pretty good haul, if I'd say so with myself. There's only one ghost left in this uh entire dungeon, it's that boy over there. But how do we open that? What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, these are automatons. The uh, androids. One of them has escaped. I wonder if I have to fight that. Hmm? Okay, so that opens that. Is there something I'm missing? I mean, that's clearly the exit, but I want to make sure I clean out this dungeon thoroughly. Oh, it's okay. I watched a full-grown half-stone giant woman get eaten by a spider to- What? Uh, half- st <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dungeons and Dragons much? Hmm. So, uh, huh? Okay, what was the point of this area? Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Get counted, bitch! Oh, that was not enough to kill him. I might need to do... turn to more drastic measures. Get countered a second time, bitch, with a different skill slot. Impact damage is lovely, ain't it? Even works on the ghosties. With the mosties. I fucked up my stamina. I have no stamina. Okay, I need I need stamina. I don't have any stamina potions, but at least I can dodge roll. Fun fact, I've actually never played a Dark Souls game. Like any of them. Not even Bloodborne or uh, Sekiro or Elden Meme or whatever what have you. The closest game I played to a Dark Souls-ish is uh, Dragon's Donger, I guess. And that's not Dark Souls. Dragon's Danga is another game that I really enjoyed. I played that for like 10 hours straight when I picked it up. Okay, um, I think I've officially murdered every ghost in this building. Kenshi? Oh, Kenshi. I love Kenshi. Is Helipog? Yes, it is. Alright then. We've been in this dank, dark, stinky cave for long enough. It's We actually com managed to complete this uh, dungeon in an hour and a half. When the Voltaic dungeon took like three hours. Ah, the great outdoors. The reason I like really hard games like this is because even if it's frustrating, when you do eventually win, it's the greatest, most satisfying feeling in the world. You feel accomplished. You feel like you're not worthless.
It's also a lot different from games where if you grind long enough, you eventually win. Because that gives you the illusion that everything is possible if you just try hard enough, which is not how things work. Spending a lot of time on something will not guarantee victory, but it will make things a lot easier and probably make victory seem clo feel a victory a little bit closer or easier to get. Ooh, Godberry wine. Cool. The only time you lose is when you give up. That's true. Or, you know, if you die, I suppose. <laughs> I guess I just technically contradicted myself, so I better clarify. There are games that you don't need, really need to try. You just need to follow instructions and get your numbers high enough to the point where it doesn't matter if you try because you out-damage everything in the game or out-heal everything in the game. And then there are games like this which don't even have experience. The only way to get good at this game is to get good, is to know what you're doing wrong, basically. And to know how to counter stuff. Not that I don't like seeing the number, the funny numbers rise when you just crap a thousand, over a thousand items, or you cook and burn a thousand stews. But it's not the same kind of satisfaction, I guess. Man, the housing market crash sure took a toll. <laughs> I can never get tired of listening to the soundtrack. I mean, look at this shit. This is not does this not just like scream high adventure? I guess. I feel like with some RPGs, victory is assured victory is assured as long as you keep playing. But then there are other RPGs that victory is assured only if you actively think about how to win or how to achieve victory, if that makes any sense. That's right, you see that dungeon, you can die over there. <laughs> All this mineable stuff, and I did not bring a pickaxe because I am stupid. No, oh well. Check this out. Meanwhile, I'm still dying because I have not drunk any medicine for my disease. I'll be okay, I'm sure. I'll be fine. Hmm. Open supply cache. Thank you. I needed those items. Look at all this shit to sell. I really should heal though. For sure. Do I even have any bandages left? No. I don't have any bandages left, chat. Rip and Ripperino. Wait. Has an idea. Now I can has bandages. Mm-hmm. 
It's also time to have a victory meal of eggs. Big brain. Eh, fuck it. Let me collect some seaweed. After the ordeal I had, it feels good to do something really mundane after every so often, you know? So... How's everyone in chat today? Y'all having a good hump day, Wednesday? Y'all ready for the weekend? Oh. Did I really just get spooked by a fucking tree branch? I'm really on edge. I feel we don't have a one-day work week and six-day weekends. I know, right? <laughs> Imagine working 40 hours a week. Couldn't be me. It totally is. Chat, should I explore the ruins to my left or the Cabal of the Wind Tower to my right first? Let's use the pull feature, since I've never used that before. How do I into how, how do I has pull? How do you set up a pull in this thing? Um, do I need to have Twitch open in a separate browser to do this shit? <laughs> Firefox is installing your updates and will start in a few moments. Thanks for nothing, Firefox. Mm -hmm. We got one vote for the wind tower. The law of reversed effort. The harder you try, the harder you fall. Bigthink.com. Something tells me they need to think a little harder. What a dumb thing to say. Whoa. Why am I having slowdown? Like, really bad slowdown. Hold up, chat. Creator, dashboard, video producer. Uh, creator dashboard, please. You're alive, manage stream. Bit rate is bad. Hang in there, reloading your thingamajiggers. Five viewers today? Not that bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and... I could run a one minute ad break. I could start a prediction. I can manage a poll. Create a new poll. Left or right? Left. Right. Duration, five minutes. Cool. <laughs> Time is in the game right now. It's one twenty-seven. That's not that bad.
In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and explore around here without going left or right. Hmm, steel and stuff for uh, making arrows. Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. There's actually a, a village or some... A uh, building over there. So I guess there was an option besides going uh, left or right, huh? I could have... You could have just gone straight. So it's really left to right or straight ahead. Interesting. They sure craft a lot of detail into these maps, don't they? Is this a gravestone? Gathering a ghost plant? Crystal powder. So they are gravestones. And shit, man. There's a lot of iron mine veins here. Oh, no. There's still... There are more tentacle monsters over here. There's a lot of them, too. There's three of them. That's going to be such a pain in the ass. But hey, if the chat wills it... Today, I'm the chat's bitch boy. <laughs> Looks like we're about halfway through the poll. You could, but should you? But should you? That's a good question. The next leg of the journey is on chat's hands because I already defeated the dungeon I said I was going to beat today. But as is the nature of this kind of game... There's yet more stuff to explore. I did say that after we beat this uh, fortress thing, we're going to go visit the remaining uh, dungeons that I've not been to, which are the ancient ruins. We've got two we can visit here at the moment. It's fairly, it's only afternoon in game, so I got time. Um, I am kind of running out of equipment though, but I do have plenty of potions. And I, since I'm a dumbass and didn't bring a uh, cooking pot with me, I can't make any restoratives right now, so I can't even heal this bloody infection I got going on. <laughs> Maybe five minutes was too long. So far, we only have one vote, and it is for the right, the cable, the uh, wind tower. <laughs> eh, sure. Why not? Why is my bit weight so bad right now, anyway? Or is it just really low? Looks like we're going to the Cabal de Wind Tower after all. This lag is really bad, though. Somebody tells me the game did not like what I did. Bruh, stop, 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 please. Alright, here's one of their houses. It is leaning over. Got another one over there that's kind of fucked up. Is there any way to 
I guess you can't really access these things normally because since they're wind mages, I can only assume they like float up to it or something. Is there anything in any of these? This must be a safe zone right here. That's why there's uh, butterflies floating about. Even the bird will not approach it. It's a shame you can't actually climb these things to get in there. They're also way bigger on the inside, you know? Like, way bigger. Yeah, it happens when you go out of the game and back. Really? So... Ow! Thank you for throwing something at my face, Frankenstein. Uh, in that case, let me unfuck it by, um... Saving the game really quick, and... Or just quitting the game really quick, and then... Yeah, I could actually just save the game, couldn't I? Down here. By, uh... Going in my tent. I'm kind of at quarter health anyway. I could use a nap. Any minute now, game. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Hmm. It seems to have uh, actually... Oh, it did not fix itself. Okay. Let's quit game. Really quick. And then we will start the game up again. I'm gonna move this out of the way really quick. I'm gonna wait for this to finish sinking, and we'll get started with the game again. I'm surprised there's no borderless window mode in this game. Hey, hey, people, lag here. Hey, hey, people. By the way, we're having another fighting game tournament on Friday. It's going to be underneath in birth this time. We haven't played Project Wingman in a while, and I kind of feel bad, but I didn't expect there to be three fighting games back to back, fighting game tournaments back to back that I actually enjoy. Well, semi enjoy. I've not played um, underneath in a long time. So after I get eliminated in a tournament this time, we'll probably find something else to do for the rest of the stream. Sure, it's taking a while to sync though. This or sync this though. You will get started soon enough. My mouth is parched. Got plenty of water waiting for me though. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <coughs> wow. <coughs> okay, so that totally just happened. I totally just choked my own water. I'm good. I just choked on water <coughs> just now. <laughs> Yeah. The ways of being human are very alien to me. Now then. What were we doing? Oh, right. Video games. Video games. <clears throat> Deep Silvers. Encoding overload. Outward and three brothers. Uh. 
It's time, once again, to commit fantasy this bird. You bitch, I am going to stab you. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Where are you going? Where are you going? How is it not dead? Oh, it's dead. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I don't judge. I once managed to swallow a large amount of washing powder because I opened a bag with your teeth. You ate a Tide Pod? <laughs> uh, I can't laugh at that. <clears throat> I'm sure I've done something similar before. I'm in pain right now. Where is my water anyway? There it is. You know, the last time I entered one of these things, there was a horror inside. I wonder if that's gonna be my experience this time. Why did the mu music stop? There's probably a horror inside here, isn't there? Calling it right now. You're from Generation Z and you don't understand how you were dumb enough to eat Tide Pods? Oh, just a bag filled with powder? That's not as bad. Oh! There is no enemy in here. For once. There's actually people. How are you? Hmm. They sell stuff here. Life potion, hex cleaner. Firestone. Endurance Potion, Cold Stone, Astral Potion, some Raw Salmon, 1627, you have a lot of money, can I sell you my garbage? Hmm. Scholar Staff, which does an impressive amount of damage, <clears throat> and also allows you to cast Lightning a lot better. Master Staff, which also does an impressive amount of damage. Excellent. A visitor. The Cabal shares its wisdom with those who respect the five winds. Reason, passion, fury, kindness, and the inside wind. Listen to me. To use the spells I teach, find the wind totems in every region. Then you may use these spells in that region. The totems are topped with a bird statue. You'll recognize them. You know what? I like the fact that you can actually learn these things even if you don't, uh, if you've not trained as a mage yet. Chat! 
I've been shitposting this whole time about being a Jedi in this game. There's literally a spell in this game which allows you to push people away. Force push. You can be a Jedi in this game. That, that's so cool. I know the other people who play Afro have been being like, have been telling me to become a mage this whole time, but this is so cool. Who knows? Maybe I will become a mage. I got other stuff to spend money on, though, for a time being. Can I sleep under your bed? No? Open the junk pile. Oh, look at all this free stuff I can take. Alright. How are you? So can I just sell you my junk? Or do I need to trek all the way back to Sur to Surzo for this? Yeah. Can I use your kitchen? Thank you. Awesome. I can finally cure this stupid infection. I don't care for the music inside this building, though. I wish they didn't have the same music playing for every miscellaneous dungeon. They should have made something unique for this area. Ah. Infection is gone. Menu recipe. Ah, uh, ominous for a safe zone? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. That's because what's playing right now is the generic music for any dungeon. So... Can I just sleep in here? On your... Can I sleep on your rug? Will y'all let me... Allow me to do that? Where's my tent? Did I leave it outside? I left it outside. Let me get the tent really quick. Well, this is very comfy. I feel like, not only do I feel like, do I feel satisfied completing the ghost dungeon finally after all these hours of playing this game, but I even found a nice safe zone with some items and stuff and some trainers, which are really cool. The only reason I haven't become, the other reason I haven't become a mage yet, when you become a mage, you have to go to the top of the uh, Church in East Mountain first off. But when you become a mage, you have to sacrifice your stamina and stuff to become a magician, right? And the game will, like, ask you how much do you want to sacrifice. And the amount that you sacrifice is directly to proportional to how much magic power you get as a result. So, I don't know what I would have to choose in order to become, like... In order to become, like, a, uh... Balanced Jedi or whatever the fuck. Oh, thank you for the throw redeem. You threw a rubber ducky at me, no less. So you decide to be merciful, I guess. I gotta say, I have some good feelings about today's stream. That was a very fun dungeon. You know, I was kind of afraid at the beginning that all these dungeons would be really small and like be like one room and only have like two enemies because that was my experience so far with the dungeons. But some of these dungeons are quite intricate. I'm tempted to go... I'm tempted to, um... To... Go in the next one. So that's to our far left over here, these ancient ruins. But I think I'm going to head back to the city of Surzo first. And sell my stuff. 
collect some money. And maybe we'll save these dungeons for a next stream. I guess at the well, we only got an, we got an hour left, so we can see how far we can get first. Ow! Why'd you have to throw it? Ah! You threw a sandal at my face. It's okay. I'll let you abuse me. I guess worst case scenario, I could just sell my crap to the uh, maiden over there living in the Cabal Tower. Emotional damage. Let's go see what's in here. What fresh hell is this? A mansion cellar? Oh, that doesn't look spooky at all. <coughs> so this is a mansion? A maniac mansion? What lays beneath? Spooky? Yes, it is. Usually these glowy things means that magic's involved, so I bet you there will be magic involved down here as well. That's just how these things go. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, hell. Of course. Where are my lightning rags? Alright. Let's do this. YOLO! Oh, there's two of them! Ha! Ah. Who's your daddy? I need to eat food. Steak and eggs for breakfast, chat. Get countered. Ah! Gave me something to eat? Thank you! I need that just now. Consider this my victory banana. Nom 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 Thank you! Oh man, after fighting all those ghosts in the fortress, that felt so satisfying just now. But is that the last I've heard of them? Let's find out. A junk pile with more furs and more rags. Hmm. What's this? Cab by your wine? Ooh, an ornate a chest. More wine. This is clearly a wine. What? The? There's a lever over there, huh? <laughs> Let's open this chest first. An iron great axe, a blessed lightning potion, and some iron spikes. Good deal. Good deal. We're making a payday this time, chat. Let's see what this button does. Well, well, well. What have we here? 
Uh, poor chap must have gotten stuck behind this uh, trap door. That's a terrible way to go. Press F to pay respects, chat. F's in the chat. All right, let's open this up. Let's open this up. Uh, a Berserk Sword, a Brutal Axe, Fire Varnish, a recipe on how to make tea, and a medium ruby. And my, my bag is overweight. Indeed. Indeed. And what a trove we have found. Let's get out of here. Exit the Chersonese. I have decided I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell these weapons and other sword garbage to the maiden in the Wind Cabal Tower. God knows why she would be buying weapons of this kind, but who am I one to judge? Who am I to judge, right? There is money to be made. Still, can't help but wonder whose mansion this belongs to. Now, imagine if the game allowed me to restore this mansion and make this my new home. Look at this wonderful view across this bridge here. We're in an island. We're in this, so it is essentially an island. Away from civilization. We got this uh, sumptuous looking river down here. A natural defense against would be, uh, would be netherwells. The housing properties will likely be booming once we clear out this nearby dungeon over here. And you got protection from the wind elements over we here. Hey, look, the sore be it, sore boat, the sore motherfuckers are here. Let's go see if they'll give us a fair price for our for the stuff we had just rescued, liberated from this mansion. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Frozen Chakram. 2,000 silvers. A giant key. Adventuring boots. A bunch of gravel beetles. Plant tents. Assassin tongue. To make swords. Hide. Jewelry. Some gold. He actually doesn't have that much in the way of silver, says he. He's not going to be able to afford all of my prices here. Or will he? I kind of want to keep one of these just because this looks cool, but I don't use halberds, so I don't have any skills for them. Don't really need the trader garbs because I got plenty of those. Can hold on to the ice flame torch though. Huh. I only need one of these each, right? Do I dare? Well, I could sell one of these. And two of these. <laughs> Looks like I'm nearing the end of his, um... I'm pretty much cleaning him out of his money. Is there anything here that I want from him? Uh, not really. Do-do. Do-do. Thank you for your business.
Indeed they can. But I'm going to be spending this money next to the Hermit's house. So there's no need. Hey, Vemboy, are you still there? I, was, I forgot to ask you, or how are you doing? I, my understanding is that you got sick, uh, or got sick or something not too long ago. All right, then. Excellent. Listen to me. All right, then. Teach me weather tolerance, old man. Oh, wait, I need to learn call the elements to learn? What? That's... Ah! So I need to become a Jedi to... Learn. Ah! You are thirsty. Oh, I was asking him, Venboy. Application Venboy. The other AI VTuber that's here. Excellent. Listen to me. So, I can't learn this. Unless I learn this first. And this requires mana. because, And I'm not a mage, so I can't use that either. It's almost like the game is trying to tell me you should become a mage. What are you waiting for? I don't fucking know, game. How are you? Hmm. Let's see now. So all my food's cooked. They shouldn't be spoiling anytime soon. Wonder what happens when I put four of these here. They would be wasted, and there goes all my predator bones. Figures. Well, it's easier to be a mage considering it gets smashed in your face at the start. That's fair. <clears throat> but I don't know. I'm usually a magician or a supported character in other games. I figured I would avoid using magic as much as possible, at least in the short term. I can't... I imagine it must make the game a lot easier, though. And meanwhile, though, we got plenty of time still in stream. Maybe around 40 minutes or so. Let us go check out the other dun the, uh, ancient ruins to our left here. The only problem is there's a lot of creepy crawlers living around there. So we'll need to be very careful so as not to upset the locals. Instead, we will make the locals dead and then they cannot be upset. Sounds like a plan, right, chat? Oh, thank you, Askra. Thank you for sure or coming by today. I hope you have a good, a nice sleep, and I'll see you next week, hopefully. Or on Friday, whichever you prefer. Good night.
We will make use of traps this time, chat. I've already gotten my ass handed to me by these things one too many times. Oh, there's a bigger motherfucker over there, too. Shit, man. That thing will definitely need traps. No way am I fighting that without... Not sexually... Oh, there's a lot of monsters there, isn't there? How many traps do I have? Maybe I should just make more? I could do that, right? Yeah, I could just make more traps. Fuck it. More tripwires. Apparently I need more cloth, too. But where am I going to find more cloth? Tear, I don't need to tear apart clothes, right? Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Ah, uh, no way around it. We're just going to have to make do. Deploy! Alright, alright. That's the last trap I got. I hope it's enough. Now, instead of uh, necessarily fighting those three big mooks, I'm going to fight the behemoth first if I can. And by fight, I mean let him run over all of my uh, things. Wow, that actually... Oh, here he comes. A chonky motherfucker. Yep, that's right. Come over here. Come on now. Come on. That's right, right through here. Come on. Oh. He is not dumb. That's unfortunate for me because I was hoping he'd be really fucking stupid. Uh, okay. Come on. That's right. That's right. Get angry, come on. Man, he's just getting pummeled, isn't he? Come on. Maybe this was a terrible idea to Oh my god. Even with all those traps. Holy shit. 
Your body and mind are broken. All that's left is to wait the release of death. Strange purple auras swirl around you, and you give yourself to them, riding a strange streamlike current, passing stars and ghostly figures. Hours later, you awake to find yourself in a small hovel with an old man smoking a pipe who smirks at you. You lack a reason. Be thankful for the wind of kindness, for it bore me to you in your time of need. Perhaps more care in the future will do you good, hmm? I also just noticed that these cracks on the loading screen are getting bigger. I guess as I get more corrupted, that happens. You can drop and pick up backpacks with a button or using the inventory menu. Well, you know what, old man? Thank you for saving me. But, um... I don't know. I feel like shit now. I used up all my traps and I still couldn't kill that bastard. And thanks to the bad AI, I could have escaped. But I chose not to. Next time I'll bring 20 traps. How's that sound, huh? I'm getting tainted, huh? What's that mean? Hungary plus 100... Oh. Alright. Let's see how bad the damage is, or if he's even still damaged. I want to see if it's even possible to kill that guy. It's fairly late in the evening, though. It's probably dangerous to go over there. Naturally, this is why we're going over there. Oh, that's the wrong direction. He's at half health. I was hoping that I'd be able to take him on, but... It looks like all I did was to waste a bunch of my... Traps. And that was a shit ton of traps, you know? I can't even use this stuff here because... Hmm. Well, I learned my lesson. It's like Seth always said, you just need to ruin the shit out of this game. The most effective way to play this game is to break it. Now where is this bastard? Where'd you go, buddy? There he is. It's a good thing he glows in the dark. Maybe I could just keep hitting him with sniper shots? Hmm. I guess he didn't actually see me. He just went to where approximately was. That's kind of cool. Who knows how much health he has left, though. Ah, I missed. Hmm. Maybe I should become a Jedi Knight after all. Even though it does reduce your stamina a lot. Become more glass cannon-ish. Instead of just slugging it out all the time. Oh. He's regained a great deal of his health. And he also runs really fucking fast. And he's also somewhat intelligent after all. Shit. I was hoping the pathing would be bad enough to trap him behind the gate, but it appears that my plan has failed. I can trap him behind here though.
Oh, crap. I can't run anymore. Alright, game. Game, I understand. I'm not strong enough to fight this thing yet. Please, have mercy. Uh, punished for my hubris. Thoroughly punished for my hubris. My only hope now is to lead him back inside the gated community from whence he came. Or he's going to be roaming the countryside out here forever. But in order to do that, I need to regain my health. I really wish she could... Um, put uh, dump this varnish and shit on like ranged weapons, you know. All right. Come on, man. Let's lead you back home. Are you fucking serious? Wasting my ammunition on this shit. I guess that's a me problem, but... Now come on. Let's wait for... Let's wait for my sniper skill to regain. I wonder if I could kill it with just sniper shots. If I'm careful enough. How much damage has it taken so far? That's what I want to know. And I wonder if discipline applies to... Twenty-six percent corruption. Not good luck looking good, chat. I wonder what that does, actually. Increase the physical damage of your attacks. Okay, so it actually does give additional damage. Cool. Unless you fucking miss, like I just did. I know I'm not wearing necessarily the best ranger outfit. Who's heard of a knight that runs clanks around in armor? But it's all I got at the moment. Also, I keep fucking missing with this one. He's going to catch me eventually, and it's not going to be pretty. Hmm. 
25% corrupted though, huh? Kinky. Oh, he's been regenerating this whole time. And all I'm doing really is just leading him back here so that he gets stuck in this area like he was last time. So that when I'm randomly exploring the place, I don't fucking... Wait. Can he fit through that door? Maybe not. Am I safe here? Ironically, I might have just saved myself. I guess that's as far as I go. Let's go ahead and get out of this zone. And plan our next move. Ah. Uh, the beautiful night sky. It's become clear to me now that I do not have the skills or the equipment necessary to kill this guy just yet. So we must graciously return. I end up not spending any of this money. I should probably head back to the marshlands, finish up my training since I got some decent cash flow now. Decide if I want to become a Jedi Knight or not. And then return here to kick ass and take names. I'm just impatient sometimes, you know. Cart before the horse and all that. And I've paid the price for it. Being quarter of the way to turning into a dami mommy non-binary demon person. Or a futa. Whichever comes first. You know. How about 20 minutes left to chat? Or 20 minutes left to session today. How about we uh, take a rest here. And then we'll head all the way back home to Church and East. Sound good? Not Church and East. Uh, Churzo. 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 Why am I getting cold? Shouldn't be getting cold. Hmm. You are thirsty and you are cold. Is it going to start snowing again? Is that what's going on? Why is it cold right now? Wish I had a torch or something. Don't have that luxury right now though. I'm going to go inside the wind cabal. So inside the wind cabal. Warm up a little bit. And then we'll get on. Get moving. Let's go catch us some breakfast, huh? Azure shrimp? <laughs> Some delicious fish to start the day.
46 hours and 25 minutes in this game so far. Amazing, amazing. Alright, see a seal. Could really use some salt so I can cook this fish. Anything else here that I should get rid of that I should sell? Nope. Alright, thank you for your hospitality, old man. Excellent. Listen to me. Interesting. All right, let's head out. Six in the morning. I can't believe I'm still tainted up to now. How do you remove taint anyway? Hmm. I should probably look this all up off stream or something. On the bright side, getting hungry is not that big of a deal. But this extra lightning resistance, this lower lightning resistance is kind of painful. I'm sure there is a way to remove the taint somehow. Probably going to be annoying looking at that down there in the bottom left, though. But that's how the game is sometimes. You just have to get used to it. I didn't know what I was getting into, and I've paid the price for my stupidity. That's a fact of life sometimes. Let us go home. If I can. One day soon, I will be adding to these groups of dead monsters. And that will be a glorious day. Let's eat breakfast.
Mm. I said we have to end the stream on a slightly sour note, but it was mostly good. We completed the objective that we came to do today, which was to clean out the ghost pass. Got ourselves a lot of ghost ass in the process, you know? Gee, I sure hope some bandits don't pop out of nowhere to try and loot me of all this to loot all these gloriously expensive items I'm carrying. That would sure suck right now. Hmm? No? No takers? Nah. Fine. Pick up some fish on the way home. Doot, doot. Bang try and recipe has been learned.
Thank you. I'm beat. Like, really beat. You can't really see from here, but I'm actually laying back in my chair. <laughs> that was tough. You can even see it in my character. Just crawling into town. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Oh, oh shit, what up? Not much, my dude. Not too much. Greetings, friend. What can I do? All right. <laughs> nice. Give me the salt. Where is my salt? Give me the salt. Where is my salt? I know I have salt. Give me the salt. Give me the salt. Mm 
<laughs> Just in time too, it's 2.59. As always, let us take a nice rest. It's actually daytime here too, fuck. So instead, we will just go straight to quit game. Hopefully it's saved. And at one point, we're at three hours. We're going to go ahead and end for today. It has, as always, been a pleasure to serve you all. I hope you enter were entertained by my antics in spite of my incompetence. We got pretty far in game once, far, once again, too. We actually managed to complete the dungeon I said we were going to complete. Cannot guarantee that we'll be able to, co to kill that beast next stream, though. I don't have enough traps, and I don't want to be corrupt further corrupted any further than I already have been. So instead, we're going to find a considerably easier thing to do next week. We're probably going to do some errands for people, or we're going to go visit the ancient ruins down to the far south. Hopefully that'll be an easier picking than what we encountered today. Let's go ahead and let me find someone to raid. Hmm. Who shall be our victim today? Let's go raid someone completely new, actually. We haven't done that in a while. Let us search for VTuber. View all. But is there a way to make it so that I only view people that are filter and sort, low to high, apply, search tags, VTuber. Some just chattings going on here. Stanley Parable, Rust, Guilty Gear Strive. Hmm, that's a good choice. Doesn't look like anything's happening in the stream though. All I see is uh All I see are some desks. Looks like they're a sissy may it looks like they're a May player as well. I don't know if they're alive though. Page of Heart here is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Wednesday Night Raid Night with Baby Static. I see their lips moving on their avatar, which implies they are very much alive. Not exactly a small VTuber, though. They have quite a few followers. 236, apparently. So let us continue lurking, uh, looking. No way, is that a talking chair? They appear to be watching a YouTube video. Very bizarre. I'm not sure how to feel about that one. <laughs> This one's playing Elder Scrolls 7, or Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim. Curious, they have 4,000 followers. Not a small VTuber either. I do not want to see XUC, thank you very much. Fuck off.
<laughs> There's gotta be an easier way to do this, man. The thing for searching using filters is not even popping up for me now. There we go. Or rather, I need better filters, really. Blasphemous. I speak Spanish, though. Cineblade Chronicles. That's something you don't see every day. I've decided on our victim. He'll be this Asher person. If I could find him again. Browsing for channels is so jank on mobile. Uh, no, they disappeared. We'll have to find them again really quick. There's no chance to find them again just by typing in their handle. It's only caught the first part of it. Unless I could scroll all the way down, but that's unlikely. Oh? I may stand cor be stand corrected yet. There he is. Asher Khan is our victim tonight. Our typical raid message, of course, is going to be a variation of this. Lulz woke. Lulz raid. Prepare for combat. I'll see you guys soon. Next Friday. If you're willing to watch some scuffed uh, Undernight Inbirth gameplay. Talk. Let's do a Minato chant. Because now this allows our party to uh, do damage to Mechon because, uh, right? 